but today I wanted to talk to you about um, succeeding at your health goals, kind of things you can do regardless of what your health goals are, whether you're you know, doing the whole food muscle lifestyle or you're not, things you can do to kind of succeed um, at them. And the first thing that I wanted to talk about was the all or nothing myth, kind of the New Year's resolution way of going about goals. Unfortunately, um, you know, a lot of people kind of view goals as something you either do 100% or you don't do at all. And that's unfortunate because that, that's just setting yourself up for failure. Um, I think you probably know that most New Year's resolutions are over and done or people given up on them in like three weeks, mm -hmm. which is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. I mean, look, 40 years ago into the gyms, I see it all the time. People come in, they're all enthusiastic and... You know, they want to do it all in a week, and they want to be superheroes in a week. The superhero diet, no, listen. <laughs> anyway, I digress. But, and then what happens is they, they fail. They fail because it's, a, it's a, too strong of a commitment going from your, your sanitary lifestyle and your, and your eating habits to where they are to being 100% clean and working out and, you know, all this stuff. I mean, it's, it's just... Well, they get overwhelmed. Yeah. And, you know, they, especially when it comes to working out, if you work out that aggressively, you end up really sore and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do it. So that's unfortunate. So the, the all or nothing myth is the first thing that has to be addressed if you want to succeed at your health goals. I'm wondering if we're pixelating today. Um, I don't know. I don't know either. But um, the all or nothing myth, the New Year's resolution mentality and then the next thing that you have to kind of look at is how do you build a daily habit? What does it look like to be able to create something where you can do it every day? And that's something that takes consideration and time. You have to think about that. It's not something that just happens by magic. You know, I didn't decide um, to start adding Tai Chi and it's just magically it happened. I had to think about, well, where does Tai Chi fit in my, in my schedule? And I ended up having to get up an, an hour earlier. Um, and I did. Like since the Monday after Thanksgiving, I have gotten up every morning and done my Tai Chi. I can testify to that. And I'm actually pretty proud of myself. Yeah, that's very good. That I've done it every day. So, um, but you have to think about where does it fit in your life lifestyle, and then you know start creating that habit. And we've talked about that whether it's with eating or with working out, that you create that chain effect where you you know be proud of yourself. And that's the thing that gets me out of bed some mornings is I've done it every day. I can't let today be the day that I break that chain, break that habit. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, I've been doing well morning workouts now. I forgot. I, I can't remember how long it's been. Um, and I just get myself up and I do it. And there are days when I'm like, ugh. Today was that. Today when it was raining out, I was like, oh, I don't want to go out in the rain. Yeah. Yeah. But we did. We got ourselves up and we went. So, um, you know, I think part of it too is don't put yourself in a schedule that you know starting off you can't maintain. In other words, if if you say, I'm going to get up 5 o'clock in the morning to go work out before work, but realistically, you're not a morning person, you know? And or you don't get to bed on time and you, get enough sleep. Yeah, you get to bed late at night. Mm -hmm. Then don't set that goal, again, because I think you're setting yourself up for failure. If you're not a morning person, then do that workout after work. Or maybe you can get a half hour, 45 minutes in lunchtime or something like that where you can go to a, a club or something, or maybe where you work has a facility you could use. But set those types of um, goals for yourself or... or not goals, but um, what I'm I don't know for. what words you're Routine. looking for. Routine. There you go. That, 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 you're, um, that you can maintain. And that comes, that's true too of, um, you know, when you, when you, if you want to eat healthier, don't try to go all in. Like I told you, there's a woman at the gym who went all in and I, I asked her today how it was going and she said she weighed herself on Sunday and she lost some weight, but she got up this morning and weighed herself and she gained a pound and she was very dejected and very frustrated with herself. And part of it is she went all in 100% overnight from you know eating Super Bowl food to eating whole food plant-based and her body is just freaking out. Her gut is freaking out. Which also talks to the point that if you're talking, if, if you're gonna make a lifestyle change and the person you're asking for to help you is a 100%, I do it 100% and you hardcore. have to do it 100% yeah. really hardcore, you need to step back from that. They've got the experience. For them, it's no longer hard. It's no longer difficult. They know exactly what to do and how to do it. And that's fantastic. But I think a lot of people lose touch as far as the ability to show people how they actually transitioned. Right. You know? Um, and I'm sure a lot of people think that, well, I went 100% automatically. But if you actually went back and looked at it, you'll find out that they really did. And they probably talked about it for a while. A lot of things probably happened before they made that final jump. That one hundred percent. Right. The other thing too to consider is that hey Deborah, good morning. Good morning. Thank Deborah. you for sharing. We yeah, appreciate thank that. You. The other thing to consider is that a lot of people aren't coaches. And 
Just because someone can do something doesn't mean that they're able to show you how to do it. In fact, and we see this in sports a lot, people who are the best at whatever they do sometimes are the worst at teaching others because it comes so easily to them, they have no idea mm -hmm. how to explain it. They just say, I don't know, just do it. So I don't know what that says about me, but, but when I personal train people, I mean, I always get results and they always tell me about how great it is and, and how much it works for them. Um, but again, I, I take myself out of the Some role. Some people of being, are good coaches. Yeah, and I can sit there and say, you know, and, and I guess, you know, long story short, that I'm able to can put myself. Can you do myself a long in, story short? I don't think so. So long story <laughs> long, <laughs> that I put myself in a position of the person doing it and trying to imagine what they're feeling and try to talk to them from that from that perspective, because um, I know how I feel, obviously, and I know what it's like to be at a high level. Um, but you have to kind of lower yourself. That's a, that's, that's a, a bad way to put bad it. Way to say, you got to put yourself in a position of the person that's just starting Somebody out. who's new, yeah. yeah. And I think that that's a mistake some people make is that when they start on their health goals, they go and talk to someone who's already doing it. And they're like, well, they're doing it so they can help me. And if they aren't a good coach, and some people are naturally good coaches, some of us are trained to be coaches, um, they don't have the ability to step back. So if you want to succeed at your health goal, find support for, from somewhere that's actually going to give you support and not make you feel like you're failing. Um, I'm seeing that in this relationship at the gym where there, you know, the one woman is really hardcore and good for her, but the advice that she's giving this other woman that's just starting out is, I'm like, no, it's too much. Right, too and, much. She, and I can see that the, the woman that's trying is she's getting overwhelmed and she's getting discouraged. And then we had another person at the gym uh, that, that said she looked at somebody who looked like they were in shape and they worked out and started asking for workout advice. And, you know, the person is very rah, rah, rah. You got to do it all. Let's get you, you know, let's get a ton of weights on your back and have you squatting and, you know, and, and doing these deadlifts and all things that nobody should be doing if they're just starting out and they're trying to learn. Yeah, so just, I guess the, what, the point we're making is just because someone looks like they're doing it, or even if they are doing it, doesn't mean they're going to be successful being explaining to you how to get started. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking for, for that, make sure you work with someone who actually has an idea how to help someone get started. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing I have on the list of how to reach your health goals is create a mechanical process. And what's that? what that means is don't make it about your willpower. Don't make it about your resolve. Don't make yourself have to like force yourself to do it create a process where it just happens and you know that part of that is make sure there's healthy food in the house make sure you you know create your schedule to where you have that gap in it so that you can go to the gym but create a process where it just happens and it and it, it's not something where you have to force it to happen every single time and i see that a lot especially with moms with kids where they want to work out and they create these plans where everything has to work out exactly right and so they are so stressed about getting everything lined up so that they can do their thing and it becomes mentally just so exhausting what's also very helpful is if you um are able to join a gym is that you develop relationships good morning allison you develop relationships at the gym so it becomes a place you look forward to seeing people there and then if you're lucky enough to find somebody you can work out with then you kind of hold each other um, accountable, accountable. Mm -hmm. for uh, showing up and going through the workout. And I, and I find that for people just starting out to be the most successful. Now, when I'm personal training somebody, um, you I, hold them, I hold them yeah. accountable. Because they have and to They know I'm going to be there, so they know they got to they be there. So that works that way. Um, yeah. And if you don't have the ability to have a personal trainer, then having somebody that that is... You know, at your level and like-minded that you can work out together and, and you know, discover that experience. And that, that's true, too, with your health goals when it comes to um, how you eat. Mm -hmm. If you have other people who are eating like you and who are interested in supporting you, um, like on our, our community page and people who work with us individually, having that person that you're accountable to. Like I asked somebody today, he was asking me questions about food, and, and I was like, well, he was saying his gut was bothering him. I'm like, well, how much animal products are you still eating? And he said, well, more than you'd want me to. And I said, well, what I want yeah, isn't one the is point. We want it to. Like, That's not the that point. has nothing to do with it. It's not about what I want. It's about making choices. And if it's if eating this way is bothering your gut, then maybe you should think about changing that. And that's not about me. But just talking to me about it kind of made him feel accountable, which is kind of cool. Mm -hmm. So having that someone to help you do that is a really a really helpful thing. Um, and then give yourself the tools to succeed and whatever that looks like, whether it's surrounding yourself with people who, who are going to be supportive and helpful, avoiding people who are not supportive and helpful, that's a big deal. Um, you know, finding ways to make sure you get the right foods in the house, whether that means you download our staples list. Um, 
that's available to them, right? They can download uh, that. Yes, I think I have to. I, we have to look. I can put the link in, we'll put in, the, link in, 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 the, in the in the yes. comments after we get done. But if you don't have our staples list, you can download the staples list. Making sure you have those foods in the house and figuring out ways to cook them. And, you know, create a ways for for success. I think a lot of people um, create these goals, these really big ambitious goals and then they don't create the path to get there and it doesn't happen by magic so if, if you want to succeed at your health goals you have to give yourself a way to do that um, whether it means hiring a coach and you know a lot of people are like oh I can do it myself and and I've asked them well you've been doing it yourself for 20 years how's that going you know and it, it's not and so if you have to work with somebody do that um, if you if you need to figure out you know meal planning, do that right. whatever that looks like. And it could be a, a you know just something to get started. You know, somebody that you can uh, like like what, what Robin does a um, an introductory a jump start consultation. Jump start, thank you, mm -hmm. jump start consultation, which gets you started and gets you on the path. Um, then you can do something like that, and then like for our group for our website, if you remember the website, you get the once a month uh, Q and A. Yep. Which is which is really a support group, honestly. What day is that? It's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Next the twenty. The twentieth. It's next Wednesday. Next right? Wednesday. Yes. Yeah. So a um, week from tomorrow, we'll tomorrow. send an email out. Like that's at day. night. So if you can't make the mornings, no problem. You, you, you can catch the night. And if you can't catch that, it's also on replay, so you'll be able to see it at, at your leisure. Yep. Um, but those types of things, so you have a continuous um, backup, you know. Uh, Reinforcement and other people doing it. And other yeah, people doing absolutely. it. Absolutely. Right. What else did you want to add about you know reaching health goals? Um, I mean, it's okay to have a very high goal, you know, um, but you, but if you do that, make sure you have plateaus in between, because Where reaching you pat yourself on the back. Right. Exactly. Reaching plateaus is a good way to motivate yourself to keep going. You know, so say for instance you want to lose twenty pounds. Well, set that first plateau as two pounds. Lose ten pounds, congratulate yourself, and then make not them, by eating junk. Though. Not by eating junk. That's not the way to do it. You know, or if you want to start working out more, you know, um, and you want to go to the gym five days a week. Well, if you manage to get to the gym starting off, you're going none, none. I almost can't say none, but go you're none. going none. Then you go. You manage to get two times in a week. Well, that's. 20% better than you were doing. Pat that's yourself right. on the back yeah, for that. Really you know, good. Don't think that it has to be, as we said in the beginning, you have to do 100% of what you read or what you saw or you're a failure. It's not. Any, any move, we always say, in the direction of a, a whole food muscle or a healthy um, way of life is a great move. And yeah. says anything in the right direction is positive. Right, exactly. Absolutely, yeah. Is there anything else? I think that's it. All right. I think tomorrow we're going to talk about stress eating. I think that that's on our list next for tomorrow is stress eating and that 42% of people report stress eating. So we're going to talk about that some tomorrow because I think a lot of people have a goal of not stress eating. So I think that that's a good thing to talk about tomorrow. I think that's excellent. Right. I think that's it. That's it? We're going to oh, go actually so much fun. make our oatmeal Right, now. exactly. So with that, we will say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow.